Pokemon Masters, Pokemon Toby here, and welcome to a under two minute Pokemon theory. I was recently watching a video by my friend Gatorx, and he was pointing out the relationships between the characters that appear in Legends Arceus and their modern day counterparts. For example, there's Commander Kamado, very clearly a relative of Professor Rowan. By the way, the Gold Duck on his kimono looks very cool, is not a regional form of that Pokemon. Gold Duck appears in the trailer. We also meet Captain Silene, who's clearly related to Cyrus, as I pointed out in a recent video of mine. The player characters who are clearly related to the modern day player characters. And then finally, we have the Professor, Professor Leventon. The Pokemon website says, as a member of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps professor, Leventon conducts research into the Pokemon's modes of life. He aims to create a complete Pokedex. And immediately, when you look at his attire, you see the way he's dressed. He looks different than the other Hisuian uh, characters. He looks more like he's from the Gala region, which would make sense that there's some Gala crossover. After all, that was just the last games we played before this one. And that is, of course, backed up by the fact that at the Galaxy Team's headquarters in Jubilife Village, we have this building with what looks to be a Galarian wheezing as the piping system. It's an inspired creation from someone who's come from another region. And we know this character probably is from another region because he travels around the starter Pokemon. He's bought them from other regions he's visited. And so you go, okay, if we've got the ancestor of Professor Rowan and the ancestor of Cyrus, which character is this the ancestor of? Let's look to the Galar region. And immediately we think about Hop and Leon. I think there's some similarities there. And maybe it's just the purple hair against the purple hat and shirt. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past them to be related, and I think there is a defining piece of evidence, and that can be found in Pokemon Sword and Shield in Hop's room, where we see an old Krogunk statue. Why does he have the statue? It's probably a family heirloom. There is actually one more thought to this, which is far more interesting than the actual mini one minute theory, which is, oh my goodness, Galarian Weezing existed in ancient times, which means Weezing existed in ancient times. Weezing is a naturally occurring Pokemon. I think for a long time we've all thought of it as, is it a man-made Pokemon? No, clearly it is a naturally occurring Pokemon that has existed for hundreds of years. And this was actually even confirmed in Weezing's Pokedex entries in Pokemon Sword and Shield. That just says that it used to exist more commonly in Galar back in the day. The day of what? The day of Legends Arceus. And that is a two for one, very quick Pokemon theory. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back with more proper theories uh, soon. That was just a little extra I thought I'd throw out there. Actually, pretty soon want to give you my full thoughts about both of the games, but that's coming soon. Uh, take care. And of course, so high Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master. Thank you so much, those of you who have gone above and beyond to support me on Patreon. And a special shout out to the big patrons of this month. JD Gottlich, Pokey Bliss, Matty Barr, and Michael Hornshoe. Thank you.